Hello and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. Welcome to Season 12, and a new day that brings with it new opportunities. It's Thursday. My goal is to put a smile on your face today. So, I'll hope you'll pay close attention to the end of the podcast session for an exciting opportunity. You know, when I was a boy, a new fad came out regarding bicycles. Uh, It was considered really cool to cut the front forks off a no-good bike, and then slip them onto the front forks of your own bike and make a chopper. Then we would get playing cards or balloons and attach them in a way that caused them to rake against the wheel spokes to make a sound like a motorcycle. It was a fun way of pretending and feeling cool. Now, unlike pretending, when we are told certain things in Scripture regarding what we have received in the New Covenant by way of Christ's obedience, they are real. It's not pretend. For instance, it's not pretending when it says we've been seated with God in Christ in heavenly places because born-again believers are really there. You become a heavenly citizen from another realm when you genuinely come to Jesus. The scripture is not suggesting that you pretend this. It communicates this so that you and I can live as who we truly are now that we are in Christ and Christ is in us. See, living in the new nature, which is a walk according to the Spirit, is not like riding make-believe chopper bicycles. You've received something so transformational in coming to Jesus You can't be the same. You're no longer natural. You've become supernatural. You're now a brand new species, as it were. You're no longer trapped in a natural sin-natured existence. You're set free to be a temple for the Holy Spirit to dwell in. And you're a host for the presence of God, whether you realize it yet or not. This is not pretend or make-believe. It is the real you. So, enjoy Him each and every day and live aware of his presence abiding in you. I'd like to hear one of your stories in order to share it here. It needs to be vulnerable, humorous, and definitely around two, three minutes tops. So email me at goodnewsatactuallyis at gmail.com, and we'll set up how you can get it to me. If it's selected for sharing, you will be notified as to when it will air. But for that to happen, you'll have to get it recorded and sent to me. Have a great day! Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, goodnewsthatactuallyis.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day.